What is up party people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin and for today's video I'm going to share with you my blank journal collection. Now if you're interested to see the notebooks that I've already used up, I'll leave a playlist in the description box below as well as the link to my 11 ways to fill your notebooks video. That is one of my most popular videos to date, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out after you're done watching this video, of course. Some of you know that I'm a fan of Marie Kondo, so this current blank notebook collection is Post Komari, and I have to say that I'm pretty happy with the size now. It's not as overwhelming as before, and some of these notebooks I'm actually keeping to give away as gifts and to do a future giveaway with here on my channel. So the details are still a little fuzzy. I have to work all of that out. But if you haven't already, you might want to subscribe. That way you can uh, stay tuned for that when it goes live. And I might even do something on Instagram as well. I think the easiest way for me to do this is to go in chronological order of when I picked these notebooks up. That way there's some sort of method to the madness that is this collection. And actually now that I'm looking at it, it's pretty modest of a size in comparison to before. We're gonna start off with these notebooks. I picked these up at the Target dollar spot on a couple of different occasions quite a while ago. This is when, in my personal opinion, the Target dollar spot was more substantial than it is now. I felt like you were getting a value for your dollar. And now, not so much. It's not my favorite place to purchase stationery from. I remember spotting these notebooks and convincing myself and my sister that we needed to collect them all. So I think she is the same exact set. They came in different colorways. So this one is a nice matte gray with a silver foil font that says notebook. And then I have this one that's a copper bronze with a gold foiling, also says notebook. They all say notebook. This one is a matte black. And then the last one is a very pretty champagne gold with a rose gold copper foil for the font. They're actually really nice notebooks considering that they were only a dollar and it's just lined pages. The lines are a little bit large for my taste, but I've used notebooks like this before and I mean, really, it's the cover that I love. It's a nice soft bound cover. There are 192 pages total, and it's called the Leatherette Notebook by OCS Designs. The next two notebooks that I want to share with you are from Daiso, and these are just the small B5 size notebooks that are soft bound. This one right here, I think I've talked about on my channel before in a Daiso haul. And these very much remind me of the Apica notebooks. I haven't personally owned one, but just the style of the cover is so similar. So it makes me wonder if this is a dupe or not. I hopefully will try Apica notebooks in the future once I've used up more of what I've got going on here. But the pages overall seem really nice and very smooth. This particular notebook has 60 sheets and I don't know, I just like the way that it lays flat and the formatting of the lines. The other notebook that I have is this one that says Little Kitten and it's got this cute fluffy gray kitten that's looking up. The bulk of my notebook collection comes from one brand in particular and that's the Design Works Inc. brand. I started to notice that whenever I went into a store and perused the journal section, if I picked up a notebook, it was more than likely from Design Works Inc. There is just something about the way that they design their covers and bind their notebooks and format their pages that I really enjoy. This is a spiral bound notebook that I found at Target and it's marketed as Think Ink by Design Works Inc. So I'm not sure if that was like a sub brand that they put out at Target. I obviously don't know the technical terms of how that works, but for a while they were selling Design Works Inc. notebooks at Target. I don't think they do anymore and now I've only been able to find them at Barnes & Noble and of course directly through them. I still have the price tag on it. It's nine dollars and I liked it because of the spiral bounding which I don't typically love but 
I something about the composition of this notebook I really really do enjoy the grid and just the minimal sort of aesthetic I really really like and the formatting of the pages is pretty consistent they usually have the months at the top as well as the number of days this is great for when I do morning pages because I can easily date all of my entries not that it's hard to do that just by hand but I do enjoy the ease of format I have another notebook that looks similar and again I got this one at Target I think these were sort of promoted at the same time but this one in particular is nice because it's got the pen loop on the side and an elastic to keep the notebook shut and I think the format of the pages are the same yeah it's just a darker brown ink these pages are quite thin but I am able to use my fine and extra fine fountain pens on them without really any issues. Another notebook that I have from Design Works Inc. is this one. It says Carpe Diem at the top, and I found this one at Target as well, along with another one that I'm currently using for morning pages. It's the same style, just different design on the cover. So you'll probably see that in a notebooks and stationery I've used up video later down the line. But this notebook is very special, in my opinion, because it's got the exposed stitching on the spine. And for the way that it's stitched, it allows the notebook to lay flat. Same deal with the pages. It's got the dates at the top, as well as a place to put the subject of whatever it is you're writing about. Then I have these three, also from Design Works Inc. These two were marketed or released at the same time. This one says poetry and prose, and this one says thoughts. So as you can see, they have a variety of different styles of notebooks. So I really like that about them. This is not a good example because I have essentially two of the same notebook, but I can continue to buy from the brand and not feel like I'm buying the same notebook twice. These two in particular are, I believe, cloth bound and they're a little bit taller than something like this 5x7, but they're also thinner or slimmer vertically. These are also nice because they have an elastic to keep it closed and the pages are formatted differently. Surprise, surprise. So you've got a space for personal information and then at the top you have your subject and then you actually write in the date. But I still like the, I still like the font and I don't know. I, there's something magical about these notebooks. Can't quite put my finger on it but hopefully just by looking at them, you might agree. The last notebook that I have from Design Works Inc. is this acute notebook. And I picked this one up from TJ Maxx. I was excited because they were marked down and who doesn't love a good deal? These are quite small in comparison to the ones that I shared with you previously. And again, the Target notebook for comparison. It's a little bit smaller than that. This one does not have an elastic, but it does have a bookmark. I think these ones do too. I just had, I didn't take them out yet. This is formatted similarly where it has the subject line at the top and then you write in the date. But something cool about this one is that it has a space for you to make a bullet key or a table of contents. Your personal information goes there. And then in the back, you have a perpetual calendar for important dates. So this would make a great bullet journal, in my opinion. The only thing that would make it even better is if it had a dot grid instead of the lines, but it could still work around that. We're nearing the finish line. So I wanna talk about this notebook right here. It's one that I picked up around Christmas or perhaps after. Some, sometime during the holiday season. This is the Tool Custom Note Taking Disc Bound Notebook System. It's a genuine leather outer cover and I have a pink one that I've shared in a previous video that I'm currently using. The style cover was part of a limited edition series so unfortunately I haven't been able to find a link for it but they still make this type of notebook so I'll have that linked in the description box below as well as any other notebooks that I can find to link for you. This is my first experience with a disc bound system and I have to say that I'm pretty 
pretty happy with it so far. I also bought these nice pastel dividers that are just in here for storage for when I use it. But the notebook comes with these little pages at the front so you can understand how best to maximize the disc bound system. That was great for someone like me who was new to it. They also have different sizes. This one in particular is the junior size. Last but not least, we have this notebook right here. And this one is very special and near and dear to my heart. This one was given to me by my brother and his lovely wife. If they're watching, thank you and I miss you guys. They sent this to me from Spain during Christmas time and they just, they know how much I love journals, so it was really, really thoughtful. It's sort of set up like a traveler's notebook. There's a little tag that my sister-in-law actually made and wrapped the notebook in, so I stuck it here because I wanted to save it. It's just, it's so nice. And then there's two notebooks in here. One has lined pages, and then the other has grid. So I'm really excited to use this. Oh, and there's also a pocket in the back. I haven't decided what I'm going to use this notebook for yet. I think I might use it for a travel notebook, but I already have a travel notebook going, so I'm sort of conflicted because wouldn't a traveler style notebook be great for traveling? Yes, it would. I very much agree with myself, but I wanna finish that notebook or figure out what else I would use that notebook for. That way I could start this one. I sort of have a pact with myself to finish more notebooks before I purchase any more. I don't have a set number in mind. I would just like to use what I have already. So that's the goal. Maybe I should be more specific. Let me know if you have any suggestions for that or ways to manage a growing blank notebook situation. <sighs> Hashtag notebook problems. Hashtag do I have too many notebooks? And that's it for my blank notebook collection. This doesn't include notebooks that I'm currently using or have already used up, so I'll leave videos linked off in the description box below if you need some more notebook videos to watch. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a friend who you think might also enjoy it as well. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I love talking about all things pen and paper, so if that's your jam, you should definitely stick around. I upload every Thursday evening. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.